this morning I am going to transplant these arborvitaes. I keep these over winter and they do wonderfully just in these um, plastic pots and I'm going to transplant them. They've overgrown or outgrown these pots and I'll put some new ones in for this winter. So I'll show you, I did this grass line, if you guys have watched my videos before, um, over on the side yard. This guy right here, it's like a Japanese something, I can't remember, it's not surviving. And I'm doing a privacy hedge. I've got privacy here. And this guy survived. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put two emerald green arborvitaes. These are giant arborvitaes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to replace this. I might plant this somewhere else and see if he'll survive. Maybe closer to the house. And I'll water it more. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, I am ready to transplant this arborvitae. I'm going to dig up the old bush and just make sure and get plenty of um, soil around the bush when you dig it up. You don't want to stress it out. Um, and there's Maggie and something that I noticed with these videos is the birds singing they are just singing like crazy and you don't really notice that sometimes when you're out there you're distracted with whatever you're doing or you have the lawnmower going or whatever but they're just beautiful so here I am digging the hole um, you want to dig it just a little bit bigger than uh, the root ball and with arborvitaes, they like to be um, planted at ground level, um, even maybe just a little bit above ground level. That's, that's how I've planted all mine, and I've had great luck, and that's what they had suggested. You don't want to bury them too deep, and so you might have to adjust your soil or whatever, and then after I adjust the soil, I uh, give the hole that I dug a really good drink. Um, make sure you have plenty of water in there when you transplant it. And it should be good to go. I'm excited because this will be a nice private area um, once it grows in.